Joining us now, someone who watched Caitlin Clark grow up, Kristen Meyer, the head basketball coach at Dowling Catholic in Des Moines, Iowa. Coach Meyer, thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I know that Caitlin Clark once dropped 60 points in a high school game. When did you know she was special? Well, it was easy to tell right when I met her and saw her play um, in the spring before her ninth grade year that she just had a lot of talent that you don't see naturally. Um, and she just kept growing and evolving and, and improving throughout her high school years and obviously now in college. And we know UConn was her dream school. What was this recruiting process like? Were you just constantly fielding calls left and right? Yeah, and I don't know if I'd quite say UConn was her dream school. I think she always, you know, it's the national standard, so she wanted to be contacted. Um, but yeah, it was pretty busy as far as the recruiting calls and emails and visits when she was going through high school. And she and her parents really handled it so well. She she visited quite a few schools, you know, really took her time deciding where she wanted to go. And, and obviously she ended up staying here in Iowa and we're all so proud of her. Yeah, and Clark played on the boys' AAU team because there wasn't an option for girls. Uh, one economist estimates that she has generated $82 million in state spending. How big of a shift is she creating in the sport, would you say? Oh, it's, it's hard to, to put a number on it. It's hard to really realize what it is. I don't think we will for a few years. Uh, but it's so fun to see just the eyes she's bringing to the sport, uh, let alone the, the dollars and the economic impact. Uh, but I know she's just bringing so many new fans to women's basketball, which is so fun to see. And earlier this year, I know that she broke Pistol Pete Maravich's record, of course, and that you were there to witness it. Tell me what that moment was like. Oh wow! It, it was it was one that I won't uh, won't ever forget. I was able to see that game, and then the game when she had broken Kelsey Plum's uh, women's NCAA scoring record as well. And uh, just so incredibly happy for Caitlin. I'm so uh, proud that the work she's put in on put in is paying off. And she's such a good, just representative of the state of Iowa and of the Hawkeyes and and women's basketball in general. Do you have a message for her tonight? Uh, I texted her earlier today and just said congrats on, on making it to the championship. Good luck. You know, she knows we're all rooting for her. We love her and we're really proud of what she's done and what her team has accomplished. And, you know, we'll always be supportive of her no matter how uh, the game ends up tomorrow. Yeah, and I think that all of us watching who don't know her personally sees this incredibly self-possessed young woman. Um, what can you tell us about her behind the scenes that we may not expect? You know, for as, as competitive and fiery as she is on the court, she's really kind of like a goofball off the court. She's always telling jokes and, and cracking up uh, with her teammates and coaches, and, and she just loves life. So the passion she has for basketball that we see on the court, she really has that passion for life. And she just brings a smile to everyone's face uh, when you're in the same room as her. Yeah, I love it. I love this photo as well. Um, looking to tomorrow's national championship game, South Carolina is undefeated. Put your, uh, your coach hat on for a moment. What does Clark need to do? What do the Hawkeyes need to do to win? I think they just need to follow their game plan. I'm sure their coaches will have a great game, pl game plan ready for them. Obviously, they'll need to hit some shots and defend. South Carolina, as you mentioned, is an incredibly tough team to play against. Uh, but Iowa has played great all season long and in the tournament. So if they just play Iowa basketball, they'll be in good shape. Um, we're seeing these offers, $5 million, $10 million. Um, any advice that you have when, when looking at these decisions? No, she'll she'll choose whatever works best for her. I think she will obviously want to go to the WNBA and, and play there. I don't know if she'll, you know, elect to take any of those other offers, but she'll take time with her family and decide what's best for her. And it's pretty neat to see the offers, whether or not she ends up taking them. Do you think that Caitlin is the LeBron James of women's, bas women's basketball? You know, I don't really want to compare her to one other athlete. I, I think she's the Caitlin Clark of women's basketball. Mm. And... Um, you know, I, I think sometimes when you compare athletes to each other, it, it, it doesn't do justice to either one. So I know she's just proud of what she's accomplished and, and growing the game. Uh, and I just love watching her play. I love it. Great answer. Kristen Meyer, thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.